Hi, today I'm going to teach you some techniques that I use on the DAW that I'm translating from Ableton Live to Reaper that could help you work a lot faster when still making a song and just being able to draw instruments as fast as possible whenever you're having a new session or a new idea. And that also uses the track templates, a subject that I've touched many times and everyone has talked about it. Let's just get into it straight from Mexico City. My name is Juan Chis and let's make a couple of new tracks. Let's suppose that you're trying to use your favorite drum sequencing plugin, whatever that may be, for the style that, that you are using. And if you don't have it as a template yet, that I think you should, you might want to just start the tracks that you're using for the MIDI. So you have the MIDI all apart and you're not necessarily using one single track for all of the MIDI. And I have already done a video on how to use the MIDI item and the piano roll inside of it. So let's suppose that you have seen that. And if not, I will link it in the description. Remember to send the MIDI from the source tracks into the plugin by just clicking and dragging, you can make some sort of shortcut to create the MIDI send and disable the audio. And you can just paste the sense by holding the send and dragging it into another track. And that pastes, copies and pastes the sense from one track to another. That way you can see that whenever I touch one key inside of my MIDI tracks, I will be reaching the plugin itself. So let's suppose that I'm working on my kick. I'm working with a really basic four on the floor and I want to move into my snare. And I have this option on to be able to see my kick drums. And now I'll just place a couple of snares. And my hi-hats. And you have something as simple as that. So the thing is that if you want to be able to reach different patterns, what we will do in Ableton Live is we will use something that would be the takes. And maybe we could use the action render items to new take. Because what I want to be able to have is to maybe use three different sections or three different patterns of hi-hats or maybe all of my drums <clears throat> and be able to reach it as fast as possible. So I'm going to render all of them to a new take. I'm going to lock my active takes so I'm not switching sections just because and I have to actually use a shortcut to change them. That way, whenever I switch this take, maybe I want something like that. And maybe for the new hi-hat section, I want to add a couple of extra repetitions on any hi-hat. And on the kick, maybe I want Maybe I want something as chaotic as this, right? Whatever, whatever that is. I don't know why my camera is moving around from time to time. So now what you can do is use the show all takes when room. And what this section will do is so you don't have to watch everything. And you will see up here the option take one, take two. And you can visually see the pattern as well. That's also useful. And remember, these are MIDI items because if you double click them, you won't reach the properties. You would have to select all of them with a the marquee select and then go into item settings, loop item source or the item properties and then you can select the loop source. You want them looped because here is the trick that we use in Ableton Live. I will draw this across all of my song, right? And let's suppose for a moment that all of these are grouped properly for ARM and for editing in my group options. And I name these drums, right? And I cut here because this is my verse, this is my pre-chorus, this is my chorus. And then again, this is my verse, this is my pre-chorus, and this is my chorus. And this is gone, right? So the great, great trick is that now I can only use T to jump into the other take and change the drum pattern of a section without having to look all of the time at this. If you want to use the takes or using the lanes and start comping it. And I think comp is a great version of this idea because now if you're using comp 
what you can do is, for example, on my hi hats, where I have some sections where I'm where I'm doing some hat rolls or something, I can take advantage of it by looking at my subdivision grid here and realizing that I'm looking at, I don't know, 16th notes on every bar. And maybe I want this hat roll that's, that's right here. Maybe I want this one from this section. And you can start combining and making sections of the song interact with each other. This is an interesting way of approaching when you're making all of your arrangement. Instead of having one section go straight into another that's not connected at all, you can start looping every section across all of your song and you can start taking elements from one and the other so it's much more familiar whenever you reach a new section on, or whenever you're trying to bring a vibe back from any other section. This is something that we've been doing on Ableton Live for a while now and it's just a tip that I wanted to share and it works with the whole idea of also maybe just making a region and dragging it and copying it. But you can see why it's not as fast because you're putting something on top of the other idea. And remember to play with the size of when do you want the zoom out to hide the lanes or the takes when the size permits. Whenever you're zooming out, you're only looking at the main edit that you did. And whenever you zoom in, you want to actually be able to do this. And if you're doing comps, maybe you want to also take advantage of this small arrow right here to hide and show stuff and make it smaller or bigger whenever you're up close or far. That should be useful and you should be able to translate that same idea to all of the other instruments that you're using in your session. If you like this kind of videos, down below, I have a buy me a coffee link if you want to support my work. I'm happy to share everything I have learned across many years of doing audio engineering and technology for music production. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check any of my other videos out straight from Mexico City. My name is Juanchis, and thanks for listening.